And they have a very, very strong role in helping uh, national governments to really revise their NDC and provide opportunities to step up their ambitions. Most cities who join the Global Covenant either meet or exceed their country's NDCs. And so I think that really it's been very an important outcome to have this Talanoa dialogues yesterday with party and non-party to really exchange uh, more concrete information on how actually, in, in our case, or my organization, cities and local authorities can really help countries, national governments, to step up their ambitions because the current levels are just not enough. So by 2020, we really need to have, I think, NDCs that are revised and oriented and perhaps like midpoints towards creating 2050 uh, net zero and climate resilience strategies. And so I think that only by promoting uh, vertical integration, multi-level governance, the NDCs, as well as cross-sectorial NDCs hor horizontally, we can reach these goals and we can really deliver on the Paris Agreement with the scale and speed that is needed. And, and I think that cities are providing, we are supporting also data and aggregated data to really provide the impact that cities can have in helping government reaching this goal. Quito represents 17% of the transport sector emissions for Ecuador, which is actually, transport for Ecuador is the highest uh, emission factor as it is for, for many Latin American countries and not only Latin Americans. So that's, that's just an example of how actually this alliance between uh, the capital and the city and the national governments can help tackle one of the highest emission factors for the country. Mayor Rodas is, in, is adopting a lot of low emission zone and um, reaching a historic center of fossil fuel free target and measure. So he's implementing several measures in the cities that will actually help reduce the national uh, emissions and reach therefore increase the chances of reach the targets. Now with that the call also calls for national governments to really help empower cities because really even if you have set the highest ambition targets with the revised 2020 NDCs you still need to then enable implementation mechanisms and so I do think that together with stepping up ambitions we also have to step up climate finance flows and really even mainstream climate in finance so that it's not just a little separate bucket but national budgets have actually climate kind of cross-cutting throughout the different budgetary allocations as well as similarly we national governments in many in many countries uh, especially in the global south have the are the only ones with the authority to really um, to really create enabling frameworks that empower local authorities to have more access to finance.